Today's church has become nothing more than a business that follows after every worldly principle that every other business follows in this whole world. They are worse than a normal business because their chief executive officer is Satan, who is willing to lead every single body that passes through those doors straight to hell. I want to read to you what is written in 2 Corinthians chapter 6. Do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness? And what communion has light with darkness? And what accord has Christ with Belial? Or what part has a believer with an unbeliever? And what agreement has the temple of God with idols? For you are the temple of the living God, as God has said. I will dwell in them and walk among them. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Therefore, come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord. Do not touch what is unclean, and I will receive you. I will be a father to you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. The Lord does not dwell with sinners. He hides his face from those who do what is evil in his sight. If we want Jesus as our King and our Lord, if we want the light of the truth in us, we have to touch nothing that is unclean. The church today thinks that it is safe, secure, and going to heaven, and that no one can speak evil of it. But she is full of all the perversions of the world, and everyone who steps in that door is under her deception. If we want to be the children of the light and have the truth of God in us, we have to touch nothing that is unclean and have no relationship with those who are steeped in sin. What agreement does the temple of God have with demons? We have no relationship with Satan. If you really want to be part of the true church, you have to follow Jesus, not a pastor it's not about your membership or attending a church. It's about receiving Jesus Christ into your heart, daily seeking him in prayer, following him, obeying him, because the true church follows the lamb wherever he goes. They're not following their pastor and his sermons, those Bible studies. They're not paying their tithe to a church. It's not about the religion it's about a relationship with Jesus and going with him each and every day. Are we connected to Jesus or are we connected to the false church system? Who do we follow and who do we trust? Do we trust Jesus? Do we go with him? Or do we trust men? Do we trust the churches? Do we trust the pastors? Do we trust the elders in the false church of today? Who do we trust? Who do we go after? May the grace of Jesus be with you.